hey days welcome back to another video if you haven't done so already be sure to subscribe down below to become part of my pj squad which is always awesome as always comment down below what you guys would like to see next any suggestions anything that you just want to tell me or if you just want to say hi and interact with me i'll be trying i will be trying to comment as much as i can with you guys and all that good stuff before we get started today i am doing a subscriber slime once again so thank you so much miracle slimes by lily for sending me this package it is so great and I just love that you guys are showing interest in sending me slime packages so if you guys want to send me something of course just email me my email is always listed down below and I would love to talk to you and give you the details so that you can be reviewed as well I have two packages coming in now so that is so exciting as well I'm so glad you guys are sending me some slime packages to review it is helping my channel and I love giving you guys some exposure so they also gave me this lovely lovely note with slime off 15 as a coupon code for you guys if you guys want to use it so thank Thank you so much for the sweet notes they also sent me some peppermints and some borax so that is great borax is always something that you should send the other thing I would say maybe have a business or care card just so that they can know who you are because as you'll see in the like slime like um, containers there isn't a slime name so I would definitely send something besides just a note so that they know like who the slimes are from and I was also showing you the borax because it made a mess I would suggest putting that borax bag in another bag just for that and then um moving on again I just have a lot of stuff that I put right here some of them had bubble wrap some of them didn't some of them had like that little clear wrap some of them didn't so definitely something that I would also recommend is consistency now none of them broke leaked anything like that so it's no problem to me just a consistency thing and I also wanted to mention for the owner if you want to leave your like slime shop link down below so that other guys other people can see it if they want to buy from you be sure to do so and I would love to pin it at the top so more people can see it so moving on, they sent me um, a multitude of slimes. So this first one is Lavender Crunch, and there is one later that is also a crunch. Now on the website, I will say, it is called a crunchy slime. So just as a like opinion, a crunchy slime, yes, it's a texture, but it's not like a normal texture. Now a crunchy slime could be pretty much anything that makes a, a bubble pop, a crunch, something like that. Now this one had some like beads in it not too many and then some slushy beads so like some foam beads some slushy beads so I would just call it a I don't know that one's really hard to explain I would probably call this one a semi slushy if you could and I'm kind of glad that there's only so many slushy beads in it because I've said it before it's kind of hard to find the right slushy beads and these would fall out but because there wasn't too many it was pretty great so other than that it is a beautiful purple color I love this purple so much there's some purple micro glitters in it some purple foam beads and then the slushy beads and it is scented like lavender it's so relaxing and it is a nice kind of semi jiggly slime and I'm not sure if it's supposed to be partly jiggly um, if it's not supposed to be and you want to change that just do a stronger activator so that you don't have to activate it so much and as you saw at the beginning obviously I had to activate it a little bit no biggie but this one was really really great I'm gonna give this one a 4.5 out of 5 because of the bead fallout and yeah but this one was great I love this one So this next slime is Summer Freeze, and just by the name, I thought it would maybe be a snow fizz or a um, an icy slime, but I was surprised that it is a cloud slime and pleasantly surprised. Now, I will explain that in a second. So this is a lovely sky blue color, and it has some iridescent flakes on top that are also blue, so it is a very nice aesthetic. Now, the first slime that I showed you and the last slime that I'll show you, both crunch slimes are the only ones that were scented. Now, I'm not sure if they're supposed to be scented, if you don't have the scents yet, if you plan on doing a scent, if you want to say something down below about the scents, be sure to. Now, this one, okay, the reason I was pleasantly surprised is because this is 
hands down, the best cloud slime I've ever had. Yes, I just said that. Okay, so I want to explain. I didn't get to show it on camera. I, like, this is my fault. I didn't show the slime justice. And mostly when I played with it off camera, because it's really hard to play, like, and show the drizzle, because if you guys have seen my setup, you'll see that two cameras are right next, or not two cameras, two lights are right next to each other. So it's really hard for me to bring my hand up and drizzle it. But when I am on my own, this drizzle is perfect there's no fallout it drizzles so nicely fl fluffs up so nicely i can even say it, you guys this is better than slime obsidian it's called slime like I, I i just said that like it is beautiful so much now i'm personally a scent kind of gal so this if this had a scent i'm not taking off because it has no scent but if it had a scent i just i, I would have died i'm sorry like this is beautiful and perfect and i love it five out of five well done on this This next slime is Soft Girl Cream, and this is, like, to me, like, a um, different form of, like, the e-girl stuff that people used to do. So it's really nice to see something different. Now, this one did deflate just a little bit. It's not too bad, and, like, I kind of, I didn't really show it in the rest of them, but this one kind of has it pretty bad. Now, with these containers, you guys have probably seen them before. Courtney used to use these or uses them now. I don't really know. I used to use them in my shop. They're cheaper containers. And thank you to whoever commented, like, what they're made of. They're, like, PET plastic, something like that. And they're just, like, the slime just sticks to them. So I would recommend better containers. This is perfect for somebody first starting out, but I just recommend better. So it had a really nice charm, and I showed you guys kind of the holes. It's, like, those beads that you can use for necklaces and stuff or bracelets. Bracelets, I thought that was really like cool. It's a really good way to use beads. And of course, like I said, this one is not scented. It is a beautiful baby pink color. I love it. It's almost like a cotton candy pink. And it's kind of like a clay slime. If I'm not mistaken, on the site it says butter slime. If you actually want it to be a butter slime, I would say add just a little bit more clay to it. And that'll make it a butter slime because this is not exactly a butter slime, more like a clay slime. But it still does inflate pretty well. You'll see the inflation at the end and that's after I tried to deflate it. So the inflation is really nice. And it's a very nice time. It's very creamy, very soft, and I really enjoy it. Now, the one thing I will say, it kind of feels like there's a little bit too much lotion in it because my hands do kind of have like a lotion-ish residue afterwards. So if you could just tone down a little bit on the lotion, add a little bit more clay, I think it would be perfect. But overall, I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 5. So well done on this one as well. So this next one is Royal Jelly, and it is so beautiful. It is a dark purple color with some, like, iridescent glitters in it. It's so beautiful. I love this one. So nice. Now, I am super sad that I had to activate this one because, like, I just wanted to show off the clearness of it. It was so great. And definitely, once again, like I said with the Cloud Slime, one of the best jelly slimes I've ever had. It is so thick and so nice. It doesn't leave any residue on my hands. It's so nice to play with either on the table or in your hands. You know, just, it's, it's great. I, once again, I'm just out of words. It is an amazing slime. Like, you have your jelly and your cloud slimes down. Like, they are perfect. Way better than stuff I can do, and way better than most famous slime shops that I've seen can do. So it is great. I don't know what the heck you're doing. I don't know if it's the snow that you use or what, but it is perfect. And I love it so much. So this one definitely gets a five out of five. You guys, if you're going to buy from them, this one and the cloud slime, I recommend the most because they are just perfect.
This last time is Aloe Crunch, and like I said, this one is scented as well. It smells pretty much like aloe and lotion, and this one is pretty much the same as the first one. So like I said, the first one, instead of saying that it's a crunchy slime, maybe a semi-slushy, or if you want to change it, I personally think that this one and the first one would be absolutely amazing as full flowns because that would just be great especially with the scent it's really unique i haven't seen anyone do these type of like this type of slime so really nice that's just something that i would recommend so pretty much all the notes from the first one is with this one and um really great so i'm gonna give this one a 4.5 out of 5 because of like the um, slushy part now there isn't nearly as many slushies in this one there's like only a couple but like those couple kind of fell out it's just because it's probably the wrong type or the slime is too thin you kind of have to have a thicker texture as well for them to stay in if that makes sense so while i have enough time i'm just going to give you just a few pieces of advice okay the first is definitely when you get more money to upgrade those containers so that they don't stick to the sides the second thing i would say is that if these like the first one and the, the this one aren't supposed to be like a jiggly ish texture I would make a stronger activator. This third thing that I would say is that it would be great if you could add scents. And the fourth thing is a care card would be amazing. And then some kind of like logo on the top so that they know who they're ordering from. And if you can get all those done, especially number four, I don't know why I put that one in number four, that you would definitely be on par with famous slime chops like you've already got some of the textures down better than I could ever do. So like I'm just impressed so oh my gosh thank you so much for sending this it is great and it's it's amazing I play with these still all the time if you guys are interested in sending me a package like I said my email is in the description but with that I am signing off so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one